Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're going to talk briefly about what the heck this thing is, the uh, closet behind me, and why I never carry a handgun on the ship. So, uh, first off, this closet behind me, which the museum uses as a closet also, uh, is actually the security force locker. This is where small arms would have been stored, so if there was some sort of under siege style security emergency on the ship, uh, they could hand out small arms to the crew. Uh, so that's a real cool thing. People coming through the ship always ask where the armories were, and there aren't any on the tour route, although there are multiple spread out through the ship, and we've done talked about some of them in uh, other videos before. Check the description below for more information on that. So, uh, because we use this as a storage closet for the wardroom here, we're on the uh, port side of the officer's wardroom, um, we can't open the door and display it as a uh, security force locker. I uh, absolutely hate museums where there are signs all over the place. Uh, I, I could put a sign on the door that says what this room is, but that's, that's boring. And the ship looks the way it's supposed to. The, the door is closed the way it is supposed to be. So putting a sign there just makes the ship look less like an active duty vessel. And, and one of my goals in interpreting a museum ship is to give visitors an experience uh, like the crew just walked off the ship and they get to come on board. So how do we make that educational? How, if you're a rando person walking through the ship who's never been on board one before, do you recognize that this closet over here is for storing small arms? Well, that's where this cool thing comes into play. This is for clearing small arms before you turn them back into the locker. And by clearing, I mean you would take your handgun, you would drop the magazine out, you would rack the slide, which should eject any ammunition in it, you put it in here and pull the trigger. That will allow the hammer to drop back down, uh, which means if there was still a round in there, if you didn't clear it properly, uh, the round goes off before you hand it back in if there isn't a round back in there, well, then you've just dropped the hammer and this gun is okay and safe to turn back in. It has been proven to be clear and empty. What does this thing do? This metal piece has baffles in it. It has a rubber piece in it and it's got uh, these air holes in it so that if the round does go off, it's going to absorb the entire impact of that round and a lot of the sound uh, and contain it inside of this rather than letting it shoot off into the ship. Uh, many of us gun owners at home have a five gallon bucket full of sand in our garage or wherever we uh, clear our firearms before bringing them into the house. And that does the same thing. Now this particular piece is not original to New Jersey and we don't have any explicit evidence that these were ever used on Battleship New Jersey. However, this is an actual U.S. Navy one uh, that we took from one of the ships that we were able to strip parts off of here in the Philadelphia Navy Yard. It was one of the Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates that had this uh, by their uh, small arms locker. So by cutting it off and putting it here, we're giving more interpretation, more clues about what this room is without putting a, a big sign that explicitly tells it and makes it look like it's not a ship. So why is this thing important? Well, uh, obviously you don't want when you're handing firearms from one person to another and then that person goes off watch and they hand it to someone else. Uh, you don't want that to be a loaded firearm um, and somebody doesn't remember that it's loaded or unsafe or whatever it is. So you always want to clear your firearm before you pass it to the next person. Of course, in the process of doing that, you have cocked it, which means loading it's more difficult if you haven't. Uh... So that's where this guy comes in. It is doubly important here inside of a ship. All of the bulkheads on the ship are made out of metal. 
not just any metal, but armor plating. So uh, if for whatever reason I'm goofing off with a handgun and it goes off, that round doesn't just hit something and stop, it bounces off of all of the metal in the space and keeps ricocheting. It doesn't just have one trajectory in which to potentially hit somebody or something important. It now has multiple trajectories over which it might hit something important or more importantly, a, a sailor or even civilian who's on the ship. So it is vitally important that you check that your handguns are cleared. We even got to visit an active duty ship, USS Savannah, and uh, just in the course of going through in that day, we saw their security forces turning in handguns to the small arms locker using uh, a, a very similar setup. So that's why that's important. And that's one of the reasons why the museum has a policy that you cannot carry uh, handguns onto the ship. Uh, that goes for staff, that goes for uh, visitors. Uh, and I would never want to, uh, even if I had a concealed carry permit for my 1911 or whatever the case is, I, I wouldn't want to carry it on the ship because God forbid something happens and that, that goes off. Even if I intend for it to go off um, and I miss the target, or it goes through the target, well now it's bouncing around the space, causing collateral damage to things that I did not intend for it to do. So uh, absolutely safer to not carry one if you go and visit a museum ship. Um, and that's what this thing is for, which you'll see on the tour route. And uh, just a little bit of information about why I don't like a lot of signs. Did you expect sailors to be able to carry around their own firearms or did you know that they got locked up somewhere? Let us know in the comment section down below um, if you knew that or not. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your continued support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to keep helping out the museum. And you can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the channel. Thanks for watching.